Hey YouTube, I am Tiberius and you're about to watch an edited recording of a Twitch stream. You can check out my Twitch using the link in the video description. If you enjoy the content, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. Thank you and enjoy the video. Okay, uh, so this is a visible error based SQL injection. So I imagine the SQL injection is going to be in this filter thing. Is there like a login I was supposed to do? Oh! It's a cookie! That would explain it. Sometimes you actually do need to read these things. Uh, okay, so we go here. Send to repeater. So there's a tracking ID, if I put a single quote in there, I imagine, yeah, okay, here we go. Um, so I'm going to also scroll. Okay, so we have unterminated string literal, starts at position 52. It gives us the entire lovely SQL injection error. So what we can probably do here is we can like just copy this. Um, and paste it. Okay, it's Postgres. All right. Uh, does any of my chat know if if we hadn't if we if we didn't know that this was Postgres or Postgres didn't reveal itself? How do we check if this is Postgres? How could we figure that out, chat? Concatenation, exactly. Uh, so XOXO likes you is correct. So we know that this is the SQL statement. Let's just do it one. Okay. And we inject right here. Okay. So the first what we want to do, we know that this causes an error. So the first thing we want to do is we want no Postgres is no SQL. Postgres is SQL. The S before, like, Postgres actually is PostgreSQL. Um, they leave the QL off just to make it sound more fun, I guess. Anyway, so once you've found an SQL injection that breaks, uh, the, the nicest thing to do or to figure out if you've actually got an SQL injection is to try and repair the statement. Now, the easiest way to repair a statement is concatenation, i.e. what we want to do we're injecting a single quote, which is basically going to create this string here. But we have this dangling single quote at the end. So we want to concatenate it. Now, in MySQL, you can just put a space and then another single quote. Right, so our, our injection... Our injection is single quote, space, single. Okay? So this works in MySQL. So... In MySQL and MSSQL, a plus symbol will also concatenate. And finally, in Oracle and SQLite and Postgres, two uh, pipe symbols will concatenate. All right. The beauty of the concatenation method is that if you think about it, if you're already concatenating a string, then you know that this has a valid result. Which means that if you concatenate with an empty string, you're going to get the same valid result. So, if we do that, now look, the, um, the original response has come back. If we try and do a space, we would get this error. If we do a plus, we would get this error. If we actually encode the plus... We'd still get this error. Okay. So we have a, a um, an error based SQL injection. Which means basically we can, because we can get this error reflected back, we can actually embed results 
into the SQL error message. Okay. However, it's not that um, easy. For example, you can't concatenate, let's just say, with um, select, let me see, version maybe. Uh, and then we have to concatenate with that. Okay, you can't do that. Uh, oh, actually, sorry, we would need to not. There we go. So if you just concatenate with a version, even though you're giving an error message, the version, select version doesn't become anything. Okay? So the key thing about error-based SQL injection is you need to first... Um, grab the data you want and then you need to do something with that data that causes an error message which then includes that data okay so in postgres the the easiest way of doing this honestly is by using casting okay so casting basically means you um you're, you're uh converting the data into a type which it can't get conversed into. The easiest way of doing this is to convert text to like an integer. Um, so firstly, let's actually repair this statement in a way we can actually use it. The easiest way to do this is to do something like an and um, one equals one like that. And now we've repaired the statement, right? So we don't get an error anymore. So now what we can do is we can put our little um, error-based SQL injection here. So we're going to do an AND, and what we're going to do there is we're going to go, I think we need to do, yeah, we need to use the cast, and then we're going to select a version. I have my cheat sheet again. Um, and then we need to do as int, I think. Okay, we do actually need to compare it to something. Perfect. Um, no, wait a minute, that didn't work. Can I just do this, actually? Expected char. I think I've just messed this up. Hang on a minute. Um, select version uh, equal to one. Text inch. Okay, here we go. So can I just do as int? Okay, good. I think we're almost there. No. Um, maybe I just have to end this. Okay, it's syntax. Oh, wait, 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 wait. My bad, I'm just doing this all wrong today. This needs to go here. So that is there, that's there, that's there. Okay. I think, I don't know why the unterminated string literal is happening again. It really shouldn't be, but let's just try ending it. Like There we go. Okay, that worked. I'm not sure why that wasn't working. It might be truncating a certain length. That would be very odd. Uh, anyway. So what I did was I selected the version, which we know is a string. Okay. Um, I then used cast to convert it to an integer. Which obviously it can't. All right. You can't, you can't convert a string to an integer, which is not comprised of just numbers. 
All right. Um, like if I replace this with, I believe if I just did like a one, it would work here. However, we know that um, this is uh, uh, this version number, sorry, will contain letters, which means it can't be converted to an integer. Okay, so it's going to cause an error, but specifically it's going to cause an error because we've already selected the value, which means the value is going to be uh, spat out. Postgres 12, 1, 4, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so what do we actually have to do with this? Let's, uh... um, so what we want to do actually is then just uh, select the password from users. No. This is weird. I wonder if we don't even need to cast it. I wonder if we can just do this. Can we just do select password as int? Oh, sorry. Hang on. Select version. No, we do need this. Uh, there is another syntax that we could do, which is this. Okay, that works. Great. <laughs> so this is another shorthand syntax. Can we... Yeah, we, so we need these doubled. Can we do this? No, okay. We do need the equals one. I guess what we could do actually is remove this and then concatenate. So if we concatenate, then we wouldn't even need this equals bit. I think. We could also just get rid of all of this, maybe. Um, okay, perfect. All right. So this is actually a good one. I wasn't surprised. So this actually is harder than it looks. So we had to, we had to reduce the this initial query size because it's so long. So now can we do select password at least? <laughs> uh, oh, I need to do. This. More than one row, that's okay. Can we now do a group concat? Do we have enough room to do a group concat? Uh, it does not exist. Oh, yes, of course it doesn't. What's the group concat function? It's string ag. It's actually even shorter, so that's even better. Uh, wait, what? Oh, do we need a delimiter? Uh, we did. Okay, perfect. <laughs> <I'll proceed. laughs> All right, so there we go. So what we did there was we used the string aggregate function, which apparently you do need to pass it in a delimiter, otherwise it doesn't work. Um, and then we're selecting all the passwords from the users table concatenating them together with a, a comma, trying to convert it to an integer, and there we get three of them. So I imagine this is probably the first one, which is going to be the uh, administrator user. Yay! No, that was easy. Uh, when, we, when I finally realized, or when chat realized that the that the the length was the issue we just needed to adjust um so yeah the fact that we could just literally concatenate 
makes it much simpler. On the screen are my socials. Please follow me on Twitter, join the Discord server, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, follow me on Twitch to get alerted when I go live. You can also find all these links in the video description.